I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. SNC-Lavalin announced restructuring plans today, trying to get out from under the overhang of political and legal challenges that have been beleaguering this company since the start of the year. The Montreal-based engineering company scrapped its full-year earnings guidance. It says it's going to take a $2 billion hit against its earnings in the second quarter and is planning to either restructure or exit some businesses entirely. SNC recently brought in new management, brought in an interim CEO, Ian Edwards, replacing Neil Bruce. He's not wasting any time trying to regain investor confidence, but with the overhang again of an upcoming trial by judge related to a scandal dating back years with his business dealings in Libya, the uncertainty persists for SNC. And today the stock price fell to a near 15-year low, dropped 7% and is down year-to-date by 50% on the TSX. U.S. credit rating company Equifax today agreed to a hundreds of millions of dollars in fines levied against the company by the Federal Trade Commission in the U.S. related to a 2017 data breach of 143 million American consumers. Now that $700 million payout will be spread amongst uh, customers of the company and regulators. At the same time, there were 19,000 Canadians affected by the Equifax data breach. This settlement in the U.S. does not affect them. Microsoft sees big things in artificial intelligence. It announced a billion-dollar investment in a company called OpenAI out of San Francisco. These companies are going to team up in this billion-dollar multi-year project to advance artificial intelligence for supercomputers. And all this will be tied to Microsoft's Azure cloud computing business. Microsoft is the only company on Wall Street which is currently at a $1 trillion market valuation. And a popular U.S. retail brand is planning a move north. L.L. Bean, which was established in 1912 in Freeport, Maine, and has been a U.S. staple, is planning an expansion into the Canadian market, opening a store next month. At Oakville Place, part of an ongoing expansion plan that uh, previously had seen L.L. Bean open a dedicated Canadian website. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.